This is my final milestone for the garden monitoring system. First, some information about me and my project. My name is Aditya and I'm a rising junior at Fremont High School. Before joining Bluestamp Engineering, I took AP Computer Science and Python classes, so I had a good amount of experience with coding. My project is a garden monitoring system, which uses a soil moisture sensor to detect if a plant has been watered enough. I picked this project because it has practical real-life applications, and on a bigger scale, it could help many farmers and gardeners maintain the health of their plants. Here is a video demonstrating how it works. I have dry soil and wet soil here. This wire is connected to a battery that powers the entire Arduino. When I plug it in, the soil moisture sensor in the dry soil, the LED glows red and buzzes, letting me know that I don't have enough moisture in my soil. When I switch to the wet soil, the green LED glows and a tone plays, letting me know that I do have enough moisture in my soil. Now, here is a breakdown of each part and what role it plays. Starting with the soil moisture sensor, the sensor works by sensing the dissolved ions in the soil. It uses this value to decide if there is enough moisture in the soil or not. As you saw in the video, the red LED glows when there isn't enough moisture, and the green one glows when there is. The buzzer beeps when there isn't enough moisture, and it plays a short tone when there is. Before I wrote the main code that would actually be able to determine the amount of moisture in the soil, I had to calibrate my air and water value. What does that mean? Basically, I put the sensor out in the air and recorded the value it detected, and then I repeated that, but this time I put the sensor in water. I got 442 for the air value and 172 for the water value. These values are going to be really important for the project to work, and you will see how they're implemented on the next slide. This is the main code, which essentially is the part that does the actual work. However, this screenshot just depicts the setup part. It sets up the LEDs and buzzer, implements the air and water values we calculated earlier. We also have a new value called intervals, which subtracts the water value from the air value and divides that by 3. Here are the lines that use the values we calculated before to determine what we want to know. Is there enough water in the plant? Like you saw in the demo video, you place the sensor in soil, and the soil moisture value corresponds to the reading the sensor gives the computer. If the soil moisture value is greater than the value for sufficiently wet soil, these three lines tell the green LED to glow, and these lines tell the buzzer to play the tone you heard in the video earlier. If there isn't enough water in the plant, these lines of code tell the red LED to glow, and these lines tell the buzzer to buzz repeatedly. Now that the project was done, I focused on its appearance. I didn't like how all the parts were spread out, and I wanted it to be portable. The way it was in this photo, it was difficult to carry the three different parts together. Additionally, the Arduino needed to be plugged into a laptop for a source of power, which wouldn't make sense in real life. To fix this, I added a 9-volt energizer battery that powered the Arduino. I also used rubber bands to attach the Arduino on top of the breadboard and the battery to the bottom, so everything was more condensed and nicer to look at. In conclusion, I enjoyed my time at Bluestamp Engineering, and I'm glad I applied. I learned a lot of things I never knew before, like how to make connections, use LEDs, buzzers, and I improved on my coding skills. I enjoyed making the project and thinking of modifications. Though it was probably the hardest part, I really enjoyed using the tone command to make the buzzers make noise, because I think it added a nice touch to the project. Like I said earlier, on a bigger scale, a machine that tells farmers when to water their plants could significantly help them in their jobs. They could grow more plants more efficiently and make more food for the world. Overall, I enjoyed my time at Bluestamp, and I really like how my project turned out. Thank you for listening.